Today we're going to be looking at alkenes. By the end of this video, you should be able to describe the bonding in alkenes. You should be able to state and explain the shape around each carbon of an alkene. You should also be able to describe why alkenes show EZ isomerization. So first of all, the bonding in alkenes is made up of two parts. There's the standard sigma bond, which is the direct overlap of orbitals between the carbon atoms. There's also the pi bond, which is above and below the plane of the carbon atoms. So as you can see here, the sigma bond is the line in between the two carbon atoms. The pi bond are the two bulging areas above and below. So this comes about because each carbon has an unbonded p orbital with an electron in it. These p orbitals overlap side on, <coughs> sideways overlap of p orbitals. And this forms a pi bond above and below the plane of the carbon atoms. So this bit's the pi bond. The direct overlap in between the carbon atoms is the sigma bond. Now this pi bond, because it's above and below the plane of the carbon atoms, if the bond rotated, it would have to break that pi bond. And so the pi bond actually leads to restricted a rotation around that bond. So that bond can't rotate. Right, so in alkenes, if you look around one carbon atom, what you find is that you've got three bonding regions, no lone pairs, and so that means that you end up with 120 degrees, which is of course a trigonal plane of shape. So actually this molecule is all in one plane. Okay, EZ isomers. So we get a new form of isomerization with alkenes. When you have two different groups bonded to each of the carbon atoms of a carbon-carbon double bond, you get this isomerism. Because it can't rotate, you get a Z isomer, where both of those groups are on the same side of the double bond sometimes call it cis, but they can also be bonded across the double bond, like this, and we call that E isomer, so in this case E butadiene. or trans butadiene. Quite a common exam question asks you to explain why some molecules show this EZ isomerization. Now that's because of the restricted rotation about the double bond and also the two different groups attached to each carbon of the double bond. So to summarise, the double bond of alkenes is made up of a sigma bond and a pi bond. The pi bond is formed by sideways overlap of p orbitals above and below the plane of the carbon atoms. There is a trigonal planar shape around each carbon of a double bond. Alkenes can show EZ isomerization because of the restricted rotation about the pi bond. The next video is going to have a look at the reactions of alkenes.